Well, time is running out for Congress to avert a government shutdown. Well, the deadline to get a deal done, it is just five days away. The clock's ticking. Absolutely. Our Jessica Cartalia is here with the very latest. Jess. Well, Siafa and Natasha, tonight the House is expected to vote on four of the 12 government funding bills needed to keep the government open. But it's unclear if House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has the support needed to get them. The four bills cover the Departments of Defense, State, Homeland Security, and Agriculture. Far-right Republicans have blocked previous attempts to even begin debate on these bills. McCarthy says that he wants to meet directly with President Biden to cut a deal to keep the government open. The president, it's in his hands. He can keep the government open by taking an action on the border, and then let's sit down, finish the bills we haven't, and let's work the rest of it. I'm prepared to do my part. But the Republicans in the House of Representatives refuse. They refuse to stand up to the extremists in their party. So now everyone in America could be forced to pay the price. Meanwhile, the Senate is trying to stave off a government shutdown with its own bipartisan spending plan. This plan also provides additional money for Ukraine. I'll see you again at 5. Back to you. All right, Jessica, thank you so much. If the government does shut down, Social Security payments will continue. This is allowed to happen because the payments are categorized as mandatory spending and the money comes from a trust fund. The government says more than 66.7 million Americans were receiving Social Security checks as of August. The average monthly benefit was roughly $1,700. Disability payments will also continue to be dispersed.